What's up guys, today I have 10 hacks for editing in the Final Cut Pro for iPad app to speed up your workflow and make things easier. And let's just dive right into it. The first tip is all about customizing the jog wheel setting. So to get to that jog wheel, just hit this icon in the top right corner of the UI. And then you get this little pop-up rectangle here. When you press on it, you open up the jog wheel. You can close it up though and reposition it by grabbing this little lighter colored rectangle at the very top and you can move it up and down on either side of your screen. But in addition to that, you can do more. You can actually change the scroll direction of that jog wheel by heading back over to your homepage, going to settings, and you can change that scroll direction to clockwise or counterclockwise. My next hack is for making more precise adjustments with your effects. In the inspector window right here, I'm under color adjustments. And yeah, I can grab this slider and move things back and forth, but I can also long press on that slider. And did you see that? The whole thing zooms in tight and you can make even more fine tune adjustments. My next tip is all about adjusting your text. You may have noticed when you're customizing titles, it automatically capitalizes your first letter. Even if you don't have the caps lock on and you're not holding down the shift key, that is a setting in your iPad. Let me show you how to fix it. Just go to your settings app, go to keyboard and toggle off auto capitalization. Then when you head back over to the Final Cut app, this is no longer an issue. My next tip is all about repositioning keyframes you've already made in your timeline. So to reveal your keyframes, of course, go to the animate button here. And then you can see I've got two keyframes. I just wanna press one of these buttons to select, let's say my first keyframe, and then I can open up the jog wheel. Make sure you're on the double ended arrow and then with the jog wheel, we can reposition those keyframes a frame by frame. My next tip applies to you guys with a magic keyboard. I think this speeds up your editing in the app. If you don't have the magic keyboard, I will link to the one I use down below, but sometimes you might forget what the keyboard shortcuts are for the Final Cut for iPad app. So to reveal them, just long hold the command key and there you can browse all of the keyboard shortcuts that work in this app. Another hack is you can have better control over your transform tools by using modifier keys if you have the magic keyboard. So navigate to the transform menu. And if I wanted to move this shot left or right with my finger, I can do it really easily. But if I wanna make sure that I'm not moving it on the Y axis at all, I hold down the shift key on my magic keyboard and then I can move back and forth without maneuvering on the Y axis, just on the X. It works the same with the Y axis. Again, just hold down that shift key and you can move it up and down while maintaining your X position. My next hack is fudging light leak effects in the Final Cut for iPad app. There are not currently any light leak effects in here, but if you head on over to the effects browser, go to backgrounds, and then I'm going to connect this radiance background in my timeline, open up the inspector, and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now we get this sort of light leak effect over our shot. We can dial down the opacity to make it less affected. Tip number eight is all about changing the duration of your live drawings. You know that I think the live drawing feature in the Final Cut for iPad app is amazing, but you can customize how long it takes for things to draw on. I've created this scribble transition by hand with the live drawing app. If I wanted it to move faster or slower, I just select that live drawing, head on over to inspect, make sure you're on the format menu, and then we can fine tune the duration of that movement here in the app. My next tip is also about live drawing. If you wanted to change the color of one of your live drawings like this one, I just need to select it here in my timeline, go back up to the live drawing feature, open up my tools here, and I'm gonna grab this tool and draw a circle around my text. And then I can change that text to any color I want. No need to redraw. And my last hack for you guys is changing the duration of the transitions in your project. So I've added a cross dissolve between these two shots and it's at the default length of one second. If I wanted to change that, I could do that in a couple different ways. I can just click on this transition, head on over to the inspector, select the length up here and dial in a specific length, or here's the hack, zoom way in, and you'll see these yellow small handles on either side of your dissolve. And from here, you can just manually shrink it down. 
So there you go, guys. There are some helpful hacks to get you started on the Final Cut Pro for iPad app. Did you like this video? Do you want more tips for the Final Cut Pro app? Thanks for hanging out with me today. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.